the first step order of the evening. To be honest with you folks, I'm just very, very glad that we got a chance to perform for you at all. Considering all the crazy weather we've been having. So, on your, uh, on your program it says, to be announced for jazz band. So, here's the announcement. Our first piece is going to be in the holiday spirit. Thus, it's called Big Band Christmas 2. And it's uh, very much in the spirit of the Brian Setzer Orchestra, if you're a big fan of that. Uh, it's got like Santa Claus coming to town. Um, Old Lang Syne, all the benign uh, secular holiday tunes, and um, but done to a swing sensibility. And the second one is a really tasty one. Uh, it's Blue Rondo a la Turk, which is the, uh, the multimeter masterpiece uh, set forth by Dave Brubeck. So. Is Mike Brown in the house? Paging Michael Brown? people I would definitely like to thank. The first one uh, we'll thank him right now is Bruce Grotenheis, ladies and gentlemen. Bruce, ra raise your hand. He's in the back front of the soundboard. He is the master of theater technology. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Mike Brown.
Hello, high school. Yeah, come on out. <laughs> Wind ensemble, ladies and gentlemen. Wind ensemble. So while they're coming on stage, um, how about that symphonic band, eh? Pretty, pretty good stuff, don't you think? Very nice guy, very nice guy. And believe, it takes more work than you think to have them all sitting very nicely and well behaved like that. Um, so thank you. You guys are putting on a very, very good uh, example as an audience. The, uh, we have two pieces for you here tonight. Uh, from the Wind Ensemble while they're finally on stage. Uh, the first is actually, uh, it's a collection of carols by a man named Gustav Holst, whom you may know much better for his work, The Planets. Uh, lots and lots and lots and lots of action movies use his theme. Any battle scene, that and Carmina Verona by Karl Orff, those two, I'm if they still get royalties, the, the Orff and the Holst family are very, very rich. Anyway, he also was really into folk songs. And so he would collect folk songs and arrange them. And so this is, this is like highbrow holiday fair. It's called Christmas Day, but it's, uh, it's got Good Christian Men Rejoice, which is, uh, is an old English carol. And um, the first Noel is kind of intertwined in there, tastefully. And uh, then the second piece, is a massive journey, a musical siege, to be marveled at and survived. It's called Fiesta del Pacifico by Roger Nixon, and it is, it has so much stuff in it, I can't even begin to describe it. It's, it's, got, it's got something for everybody, and it's, it's very complicated. It's taking us a long time to learn it and to perfect it, so I can't wait to perform that to you for you as well. So, Everybody have a seat? We're gonna, since they've been waiting for a long time, we're gonna do a quick scale and then off we go. We hope you enjoy.
As they're finishing up here. We did this a few years ago and um, although it is rather inconvenient for our friends on the stage, I think it's really cool and a lot of the parents thought it was really cool. It's really one of the few times you, you guys could talk a little less. Thanks. Seriously, you could talk a little less. It's one of the few times that we, as a program, get to play completely all together. And uh, band really is one big family. Uh, with all the ups and downs of a family, you know, sometimes we fight, but we all care about each other. And in a school the size of a small city, uh, it's very easy to become anonymous. And you always know that you, you have a place when you're in band. So. Having said that, this is something from my childhood and from a lot of your childhoods, and I still think it's on television. This is the uh, selections from the soundtrack from the Charlie Brown Christmas Special by a gentleman named Vince Guaraldi, awesome, awesome jazz piano player. 